Welcome back to what are we complaining about this week? I've got some good ideas on what the topics are gonna be today, but first let's take a look at this new stew skin on the Chinese Brawl Stars servers. Now, if you haven't seen this yet, either prepare to have nightmares if you're like seven years old or prepare to see the most distracting skin in Brawl Stars history. Also with one of the like longest animations ever. These look cool but they're also just so distracting i don't know what else to say like look at how big that is in game <laughs> that's way too big it would be fine without these like giant hands hand wings i don't know if that's what they're called and it seems like every chinese skin that comes out is like galaxy themed which is a little interesting i'm guessing it's like a theme they have going on but they never look like they actually fit in the game i just thought that was interesting it, it looks so like cool but so distracting apparently there is a new meta for boss fight so Bo stuns the robot crow can go in with his hypercharge so he just infinitely cycles supers and he infinitely recharges his hypercharge and the robot just dies so basically it's a free win every single time as long as you do it correctly i don't know why crow has 42 power cubes but yeah that's the meta for boss fight i guess sometimes i don't like this game let's see why we got an edgar with hypercharge four seconds left in gem grab he's going in he jumps again i feel like that one was a little bit useless okay he kills him incredible and he kills the crow is that the whole clip <laughs> oh yeah i thought that was gonna be it but no the ending just made it so much better miko balance change idea guys i thought this one was actually really interesting there's a lot of thought put into this idea and uh it's removing him from the game i feel like we need more original concepts like this one in the reddit i love the in-game economy 28k power points versus 100 coins so many players are feeling this right now including me i'm out of coins i have way too many power points so this problem would not exist if power points didn't have its cap removed but since it did you can't transfer them into coins anymore so that's that's why there's such a big coin shortage if they just bring the powerpoint cap back then this wouldn't really be a problem or they could give more sources of coins i don't know if they want to do that though but yeah there's definitely a coin shortage which seems to be a theme for the past like two years can we talk about this really unexpected jojo reference i know that fad was probably so happy about this i don't know if you watch him but he's like one of the og brawl stars youtubers and he would always draw stuff like this. This was really nice to see, actually. After so many years of people doing this as fans of Brawl Stars, and then they officially do it. Like, come on, bro. It's so cool. Thank you so much, Supercell. Three pin donations for a report on Reddit. Sorry you missed out. Smile. Okay, I've been looking through the comment section, and I don't know what's going on. Oh, this might be it. He's going through the pins on Kit, and, uh what's happening here does he not have all them boys i don't know what's going on but uh i'm guessing it was something to do with this true silver and true gold skins should be moved to masteries and i completely agree with this they could even extend the mastery road and just add these two to like the very end of it raise it to like 30,000 32,000 whatever they want to do but there's no way i'm buying another silver and gold skin it's just not gonna happen the only people who actually buy these are for their main which i did for crow right or it's somebody like lex who just has millions of gold sitting around so he can just buy all of them no matter what it doesn't matter it won't affect his economy but unless you're that rich in brawl stars there is no way you're gonna buy more than like two of these ever like i've been playing this game since day one and i'm at a gold shortage we have another hypercharge concept by pineapple the og this one might seem a little counterintuitive but it could also be pretty good also maybe a little overpowered because gale super pushes people back and then it leaves this pile of snow on the ground for like 15 seconds which seems like a really long time especially if he gets more than one super but it might make gale an actually decent brawler because he's actually been bad for a really long time which i'm not even that upset about gale to me is one of those brawlers that uh people don't really care about him being bad because he counters so many fun brawlers in this game a lot of brawlers literally cannot touch him which is annoying by a weird glitch i got one legendary for free i had a bunch of credits on sandy as a credit bank in order to unlock the new legendary brawler kit then i switched to kit and collected some credits from the past and unlocked it when the star road returned to sandy it's 
show that I had that many credits left from the brawler kit and it transferred to my Sandy and then my Sandy. Okay. So yeah, there was a bug with the credits when he swapped the kit. It carried them over. It didn't delete them for some reason. And yeah, he got a free legendary. That's kind of cool. I'm not even going to complain about the fact that this is the thing that we're complaining about this week. The PowerPoint animation should be skippable. Not only is it not skippable, but we all have way too many PowerPoints. So you have to watch this animation for something that you're probably not even going to use. It takes so long compared to everything else. And I feel like this should have been un unintentional. It's small things like this that eventually become really annoying. Bring back high skill brawlers. Brawlers back then, we require positioning, combos, and quick reflexes to be strong and viable. That being brawlers like Colt, Piper, Stu, and Jesse. Brawlers now. <laughs> Whoa, look at what this button do. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that might be a contributor to two different things. One, why people absolutely hate this meta right now. I think that this meta sucks. Like, there's so many brawlers that can just go in and win without doing anything. They just mash the funny yellow button, the funny purple button, and I don't like that that's a thing. Like, there's literally no skill in this meta. That's how I got kit to rank 35, by, by having no skill. Like, it's so easy now. And also, I feel like this is a contributor to why the game is, like, reaching a new peak if you guys didn't know at least on google trends brawl stars is uh, way up there right now like over clash of clans over clash royale and i'm curious if it has to do with this brain mushy meta if a bunch of players are winning they feel better so they keep playing like i'm curious if that's why it's actually doing so good or it's just the fact that a couple good updates have been coming out 5v5 is out you know a lot of good things are coming the reward for 50k trophies should be an og mega box that would be so cool and interesting to open because that would be the only place you could get one and there's a chance it could just be dog water you could get nothing for it and i feel like that would be kind of funny then we would have an issue where certain players who are already above 50k don't get it and then they complain for three weeks on the reddit these are all of the exclusive skins to the china servers and like i mentioned they're all kind of like galaxy themed except i don't know what is going on with this cold skin what did they do to my boy? The first one that ever was shown was the spike one and everybody loved it. So I hope that they like remodel it and bring it to our servers because I feel like people would eat that up. Yeah, the discussion of this week is definitely PowerPoints. There should be a PowerPoint cap that converts PowerPoints into coins after it's reached. Literally how the game used to be. I think we all agree with this. That's why so many people are posting about it. Brawlers can spawn additional pets a few tiles away. Spawning two things would be so broken, but it would be cool to see. This is now possible, right? Mickey Mouse as a kit skin? That actually would be possible, I think. I heard it around the internet that Mickey Mouse is like free reign now. Like he's not copyrighted anymore. Like the OG Mickey Mouse has no copyright stuff. So people can just do whatever they want with him, I think, without getting in trouble with copyright. New Lou Gadget idea from pineapple again that turns water into ice in this super and i'm not gonna lie this actually seems pretty cool what kind of sucks is i feel like we're not gonna get any third gadgets like anytime soon so why we have these really cool concepts coming out like there's no chance that any of them will actually happen which is sad yeah rt only has one gadget we have hacks and then we don't talk about inline that one doesn't exist. If you're using inline, you might as well not have a gadget. You're never going to hit it. And when you do hit it, it's not going to get any value for you. Rank hypercharge. What is happening? Okay. It's just going to make him invincible. <laughs> yeah. All right. I, I think I've seen what's going on here. What? What? What is this? Like, why does this exist? We have a complaint post about something Danny said. That's rare. I don't care what anyone says. Danny is the goat. He's the best community manager for any game. You will never change my mind on that. He's pretty much saying here that they don't want to release an OP brawler, but they also don't want to release an underpowered and boring brawler. So I'm assuming that they might make a brawler on the stronger side. So then they're not super boring because why? Why would anyone want a boring brawler to be added to the game and if a brawler is released too strong then they'll tweak it and like per pearl and charlie got nerfs after they were released because they were broken charlie's was not enough though that's true charlie got hammered with nerfs and i can't believe it wasn't enough so what's probably gonna happen is kit is gonna get seven nerfs and hopefully he won't be completely useless after that a bb buff idea to make her feel like a batter bb can now parry projectiles with her knockback bar when it's charged it would act like a buster shield but just for like half a second so you could reflect like one one bullet but timing that would be really fun this is never gonna actually come to the game but i would love to see it here's a new super rare gear concept that gives you a faster reload speed after you respawn only for a couple seconds but it's enough to get like most of your ammo back even on a brawler like tick and this would kind of make it back like in the og days where you would respawn with all of your ammo it was kind of op so they got rid of it and you only respawn with one i feel like this would only be super useful in brawl ball all right this is what i was talking about on twitter ash 
showed some statistics, I think from uh, Google Trends, showing that Brawl Stars is popping off right now. I'm not sure which update started this, but it became huge. Uh, like a couple months ago, I think, and then it went down a little bit, but it went all the way back up. It's staying up. This is the biggest Brawl Stars has been in a hot minute. Things were looking down for a while, but we're up good now. They've had some good updates. And all right, that's going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe to help me reach 1 million subscribers, and I will see you later. Goodbye.